You know, I think we played on a lot of emotion the other night. A lot of emotion uh, with respect to the things that happened during the week. Uh, and today I thought we got better uh, with, the, with our unit. Guys gelled. I thought today was a great game where everybody kind of filled their role of which we've been identifying over the last couple of days. Uh, and we got some great performances by everybody. The, the balance scoring, timely rebounds, uh, a, a very solid team effort. Um, I thought our guys were focused. We had a great walkthrough yesterday because we couldn't practice. And then this morning, a good walkthrough and a great breakfast. The breakfast was tremendous. Um, I just felt something good about this team this morning. And uh, hopefully we can keep it going. You're anxious to kind of get them out here today and kind of see, I mean, obviously all the emotions you mentioned Friday night, to see, I mean, you win that game, you hope that they come out today and, and, and play well after a game like that? I wasn't anxious, no. I, no. Mean, I mean, I got the walking wounded here. I mean, I'm not <laughs> anxious. Any type of time we can buy, I'll buy it. Uh, just, I, I'm, I'm excited for this group. I, I'm excited for this group. I thought we played extremely hard every possession. You know, our guys made mistakes. They didn't put their head down. They just kept it together. Great team effort, solid effort, everybody on the same page. Couldn't ask for a better performance. Another leadership game. Good job. I mean, yeah, obviously, you know, Greg and Herbie, Herbie all year, but guys like uh, Jordan and, and Ivanovich and even Turner today, you, a lot of guys are all stepping up and, and kind of embracing the new roles in the team. Well, yeah, you know, you have to point out other, uh, you know, other roles uh, with guys' injuries and, and guys being out. Uh, guys that don't have a ton of game minutes, uh, but that's where practice preparation comes in, and uh, they, they, they got in and executed their job. If we defend, that gets our guys in an offensive rhythm, and I think the last two games we defended. I think in the second half, I mean, you guys jump out to an early lead, you're up to the first double-digit lead, and then you kind of weather their storm of coming back, and they, I think they cut it to three with about 12 minutes left, and then you guys were able to kind of settle down from there. Yeah, you know, I mean, their, their runs, I mean, they haven't won six games in a row because they're bad. Right. They have great shooters. They have, uh, you know, player of the year candidate and, and Barney who can get 40 on any night. I thought our guys stuck to our principles and we did a good job. Good team effort. Did you kind of think that, I mean, they took 33 pointers. Do you expect them to be very oriented on the perimeter and I mean, kind of live and die out there today? Oh, I mean, I didn't expect 33s, but when you look at Sullivan, Barney, Harvey, they're going to take at least 20. And being down, they got a little bit of death. They desperate late, and that's why they shot threes. Heard we talked a little bit about the win. I mean, that was just good win. I mean, two wins over this weekend after you know, probably a long week. And last Monday, talk a little bit about how the, where the team is at right now. Uh, we're gelling right now. We're gelling. We're just eight players. We come in. We talk to each other a lot before the game. We tell each other to keep your head up. Don't worry about mistakes. And today we came out and defend. I think we held them 23 points in the first half. And defend and execute. We execute a lot. I think what most of our points came in the first half was in the block, running a lot of plays for our bigger guys and take advantage of their smaller players. You guys kind of feed off each other too. It seems like you know, the bottom makes a big play, you make a big play. Everybody kind of just seems to feed off of that. Yeah, there. everybody confidence up. Nobody's looking at the bench anymore. Look at Coach Cooley and they made a mistake. Everybody heads is up high when playing like, like I don't know, like you got all the cops in the world. Greg, um, I mean, obviously coming in, coming into the game as opposed to starting, but I mean, once you get out there and get warmed up a little bit, you kind of feel pretty comfortable out there. Or it didn't seem like you grimaced as much today as maybe you did Friday night in your back. Nah, it's slowly getting better every day. So today it was a lot looser than it was uh, <clears throat> Friday night. So um, I'm feeling better, you know. And uh, like I said, as as the game goes on, it gets warmed up, so it's not even that much of a problem. Well, Nick, you talk a little bit about your role. I mean, obviously, you went from a guy that didn't play a ton of minutes today. You just played 30, you played 32 Friday night. I guess it's nice to have fresh legs and be able to block these kind of minutes, huh? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just uh, take advantage of the opportunity. Um, as a player, if you don't play a lot, you always just work hard and wait for your opportunity. Coach Cleo always says, uh, you never know what's going to happen when you're going to need you. So just stay focused and stay like in with the team. So I'm just waiting for my opportunity and trying to do what I can. Kirby, can you talk a little bit about the, the guys that are getting larger roles in the team and how they've kind of stepped up and, and, and you know, guys like Jordan and Devonovich and stuff like that? Yeah, Linden definitely take advantage of the opportunity. Linden's, Linden's always been a good shooter. It's always about confidence. And his confidence up there and he's going, 
hit more shots in the future for us. And Bonner's played very tough inside. I think he had a block or two today. Nero got a lot of heart. He came out, played with his injury. He still played hard. Still one of the best players on the court today. Uh, I came out and played with one hand. Nero played big. Nero's being more aggressive. He's dropping the ball a lot more. And that's, that's a good thing for us. And overall, it's a good team win. Jamal came on court, played good for us. And Ryan, Ryan could continue to uh, continue improve and hopefully continue to get better in February and March. Who, uh, who taught Jordan that move by the basket where you came down and you weren't sure if you wanted to go left or right and you kind of almost broke your ankles there? Uh, I don't know. That's just, um, I was going to go through the legs and spin, but I slipped. <laughs> I didn't think I walked. I thought I still dribbled, but I don't know. And one basketball taught him that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never see that again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Coach, talk about your interior defense today. I know in the first half you blocked a lot of shots and everything. Uh, you know, um, those guys are pretty big in there. Uh, with, with Olander and, and, and Mike and, and, and Nero, they have length. Uh, you know, I thought we, we scouted them well. I mean, you know, Brian Blaney on the bench, he was on that bench for four years. So he's got a pretty good feel for what Jimmy wants to do, and that's a, a big asset for us to have in these particular games. Uh, but I thought it was good defense. We tried to limit as many touches as we can with – with uh, Barney, even though you try to limit him, he still gets 16 points. He's a good player. I, I just thought it was a concentrated defensive effort to answer your question. Anything else? I just want to thank Jordan for good. Okay, thank you. Enjoy the Super Bowl.